That's good. Okay. So first of all, thank you for coming. Uh, uh, thank you once again. Okay, we'll start with uh, the talk is about optimizing mobile development and how cloud can leverage in mobile testing. That's the key area of my talk. A bit about me. Uh, I work as a DevOps consultant uh, in, a, in the finance industry. I have experience working in media, insurance, healthcare, and I'm a great fan of cloud. So I motivate every customer to move to cloud, but the finance industry doesn't move. <laughs> so I work with them on uh, on premises. And in recent years, uh, I've started working with containers and motivating uh, people to start using containers. And in the talk also, you'll see that how I'm leveraging containers for local development. And uh, yeah. uh, that's how about me. Okay, what do you expect from this talk? Um, how can containers help in mobile development? I think I'm sure all of us know that hey, uh, containers can be used in production to run application. And containers can be uh, used for all different kind of purposes. But there's a very less area where people use it for local development. That's the key area. Then use of cloud uh, for mo testing and how we can leverage it. And CI is very important and how CI can help help us uh, help us break uh, people dependency and system dependency. That's the major thing. Agenda. So let's let's know each other. That means I would like to know my audience first. Then the problem we are trying to resolve. Uh, brief overview of the architecture. How is one way of doing it? Then I have a small demo video. Not sure how demo gods are today. So I thought I'll, I'll keep a video ready and a bit of references, and I can take up Q and A. Okay. Okay, uh, how many developers are there in this room today? That's a good crowd. Testers. No testers. Okay. Oh, I have one. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. Managers. Oh, there are many managers. Okay. <laughs> and how many of you have heard of containers? Okay. How many of you worked with containers? <laughs> okay. So I, I'm pretty sure that all of you know how containers and stuff. Great. The problem we are trying to resolve, uh, I'm sure irrespective of the organization size, uh, small, medium, big, there's always a problem called environmental inconsistency. Developer says it works, it works for me, it doesn't work on UAT, it doesn't work on prod, irrespective of the size, the same story. So we are trying to solve that. Uh, communication gap and human dependency. What I mean to say is that one developer does it, it works, but as soon as the second developer tries to replicate it, things doesn't work very well. And there might be one ninja in the office who does everything and works fine, and other person doesn't work. So it's more of uh, some local dependencies. So there are n number of chances. So that's another thing. And being very specific to uh, mobile development, uh, development works well, but the issue is we don't have a lot of devices to test. That's where mobile testing comes into problem. But I have like 20 devices, but my customer, customer base is all across the world having the millions of devices. How do I test? So that's another major problem. And we all love scripts, even I do. Uh, so we write a lot of ad hoc scripts here and there to patch our work, which makes us easy. So that's another thing which we do, especially in local and in production. This is another thing which we want to overcome. Let's see, how do we start? OK. Architecture. Uh, we develop. I'm sure everything starts here. We love Git. So everything starts from Git. And I'm using Jenkins. I have a demo video as well. So we all know Jenkins, I'm sure. About, so. <laughs> okay. I have a part of clapping. <laughs> so uh, Jenkins is very well known CI tool. And I'll be using that just because of its popularity. This is the key area. So how many of you use uh, containers on local for development? Two percent. Great. So uh, in our architecture, when you're looking at Jenkins is the master, which is it can be on a different server, it can be cloud or anywhere. And then 
we'll have uh, the build system. Normally in the CI architecture, the build would be on a specific server or somewhere else. But over here, we want that build to be happening on their laptop and on the computer. So how we do that is uh, <coughs> we launch containers on our local. And that connects to our Jenkins master. And everything happens on local. Developers still have their freedom, but everything is controlled and it's same across all. If you have a new developer coming into the organization, the only thing we need to do is hand him over a compose file or a file, or say, run this, two commands, and you have your environment ready on your local start. You can start with the development. So this is the major advantage. The flow goes like this. Uh, we have a build job, and we'll have a test job. And the build job passes. Uh, it goes back to Jenkins and says, OK, hey, uh, the build is good, and let's that's a test. So uh, we have a few couple of uh, local devices where we can test. And this local device, so uh, the local device is also connected to our containers on a local system. And we execute the test cases. So I'm using Appium uh, for, for demoing purpose. But uh, I'm not in favor of any specific tool, because one tool is not a solution. So there are a lot of tools in the market. So according to your best uh, suitable use case, the tools can be picked. So I'm just using Appium over here. Uh, so once we test in the local, we are good. And we go to the next level. That is, we test it on cloud. So basically, we provide, we send our APKs to a lot of device farms available. So every cloud provider have their own device farm. And I have put up AWS device farm is because I love AWS. That's the only reason. Uh, but there is a lot of open source and a lot of other vendors as well who's providing the same service. And a bit about the device farm, uh, it gives us 1,000 minutes of testing free. So if it is a startup, your first app can be tested across thousands of devices for free of cost. And if it's a medium scale company, you want to try something new, it is free. So it's a very good uh, chance to try. OK. Uh, are you guys clear with the architecture? Any questions around here? No questions? Or it was too high to understand? I'm sure it's very simple. It's just local. OK, great. Uh, then we start with the demo. I have a demo recording. So I just recorded it. So thanks to our sponsors, why we are here. And so all, whatever I'm showing today, it's on GitHub. You can go to Visual Asia DevOps mobile demo, and you can find all the code, all the Docker file, uh, Compose file, which I'm using. Uh, I'm yet to add a few more screenshots. I'll add it, and I'll finish the repo. Uh, so I'm just showing that this is where the code is. Uh, online, you can use it. You can test it. And that's my mobile. So. We have an app, a simple app, which I picked up. And I'm just showing a few screens. Uh, just observe the theme. It's just orange or yellow in color. Uh, so we'll make a small change. It's a very simple CI demo where the color changes. So, uh, But the, the point is like how containers can come into picture. I change that. Uh, we go to Jenkins. As you can see on the left corner, uh, the slaves are offline because I'm not connected my containers yet. And now, as I said, there are two build jobs, uh, test and build. So once we test, then it, is, it goes to build. So we start with uh, launching. So we'll, this, now we'll, this is my local terminal. Uh, so I have a compose file, and I have a Docker machine. So just to let you know, Docker machine is like kind of a VM. You, you can use, if you have VirtualBox installed, then you can use VirtualBox driver and create a VM. It's kind of a container plus VM where you can leverage all the features. So it's, it's a VirtualBox uh, a feature which gives us to mount our, our USB to it. And one more reason why I used Docker machine is because it, across all the platform, Windows, Linux, Mac, we can use BC. So I'm inside the virtual uh, machine, and I have a compose file using the content of the compose file. So Compose is basically a tool to get the containers up. Uh, I have a build. 
I have a build image and I have a test image. Uh, this is this is on my uh, on my repo. You can pull and uh, to share the APKs, I am just sharing the local common common drive. That's what I'm doing. Uh, there are multiple ways of uh, sharing the content between two containers. It can be you can pull it or you can share it in the common storage. So right now, what I'm trying to do is I did a compose up, which is basically the containers come online, and in the containers we have all the settings required, and it's gonna connect to our Jenkins. So you'll see that now. So our slaves are offline. I refresh, and now it's online. So now the slaves are our containers which is running on my desktop or my on my laptop for now. So we're gonna make a change. Uh, I've already changed it, and then just we commit it. Uh, simple case. Okay. Um, is it too fast? Anybody has any doubt? Fair enough. So I'm gonna make a, make a commit. And I'm sure that all of us follow the best practices of CI and CD, so I did not talk about it. Auto commit and then auto build based on every commit. I'm sure there are a lot of talks happening over there. So we follow the same best practices. Uh, it's the framework which I would like to deliver. It's not about tools or anything. So we're like how this framework can be used on any platform, irrespective of mobile or it is local web development or anything. So the build starts. I'm sure, uh, as it is a, a Android build which is happening right now, I'm sure there'll be a question: How do you manage the dependencies? That's the question. So it's, there's no right answer for it. Uh, somebody can put it in the image, which is wrong technically, but somebody can put it in the local Nexus, pull it on demand. There are a hundred ways of doing it. So it's just that it is doing on containers. The major reason is because we want the build platform to be same across everyone in the organization. That's the major key area and the testing also. So as everything fails, I had a failure as well, network issue while I was doing it. And now the build is happening. Um, I'll show you the logs. And I've just put a simple approval process so we can make it as complex as required or as simple as required as well. So it's a simple approval process. The reason I kept the build and test jobs separate is because we'll have a lot of issues which you have to address during the build and a lot of other issues when you have to address during test. So combined together, it will be a mess. So keeping it separate helps isolate the issue much efficiently. Okay, the build is done. Uh, we we'll start with proceed, uh, proceed with Appium. Um, so as it is proceeding to Appium, uh, yes, okay. Uh, so Appium, we can test our code with Appium in multiple ways. So it can be an individual container and I can refer to it or I can run it local. Right now my code is in the local and running it. Or uh, I can, so there's multiple ways of it supported. It support a lot of drivers. So multiple ways can be done. Uh, I'm testing it in local over here. Uh, you'll On the right side, you can see the app, uh, which is here, this one. It'll get uninstalled and installed back and we will execute the test cases. When you see a blue dot, that's when it is, right now there's no blue dot. But in a couple of seconds, you'll see a small blue dot which says that it is freshly installed. And after this, we'll proceed to cloud. Uh, I'm pushing it to the device farm. So device farm gives a lot of benefits. So it can be like you want to do it in different geographies. So basically I can, sitting in Singapore, I can emulate all the traffic, how it is happening in different geographical zones. I can say, okay, I want this app to be tested in US geographical zone, or I want to test it in this particular time zone if your app is a time-based app. And um, you can have it Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth off, Wi-Fi off. You can, all this test cases, the real life test cases can be done in AWS device farm. So yeah, the test started um, yeah, with the small color theme change. And you'll see a funny cat. That's what I like in this. So OK, so the test local testing is done. It's good. We are happy. Uh, I want to turn it on cloud now. So. 
uh, the backend, we have multiple ways of doing it. Uh, right now, I'm just uploading API to my S3 bucket on cloud, and then I have a Lambda function in the backend. So this is recorded. Uh, I did a trial run, and you can see that uh, it failed. Okay, I need to take it back. As you can see, it uh, it is passed in one device, but it failed in two. Let's see what it is. Okay, so it passed in Samsung, but it failed in Google and Google Pixel 2. And when we go there, uh, we can see uh, the device farms gives us the video as well that where the app crashed and all the uh, all the use cases. And <coughs> uh, this is uh, I used this uh, the native testing method. But AWS, of course, gives us a lot of other ways of doing it as well. And along with uh, video, it gives us CPU, RAM consumption, uh, screenshots. I, we can all configure this. I want a screenshot. I don't want a screenshot. And it gives us. So it gives us a near real-time hardware uh, feeling itself. It's just that we have to make a configuration. OK, that's my demo video. Any questions on that? Any integration questions like how did I integrate to cloud or um, what happens at the back end? Anything like that? Yes? Uh, so uh, Jenkins, uh, if you use containers, it's going to be very easy. I would say, like, to start with, even if the Jenkins file which I have written, if you start with that, uh, it would mostly take a half a day. That's it, because uh, pretty much the process is there. If you're starting from scratch, uh, a fresh person, I want to do it. I think it should not take more than a day or two, uh, the, because the concepts what we are using is pretty simple: containers, straightforward image, everything. So, rough enough a day or two. And a bit around AWS, like if you, when, you, when you use any device farm solution, uh, that shouldn't take too much of time as well. But being specific to AWS, like they have rich documentation, so it'll be very easy to adapt. And a lot of uh, and the major thing is like if you use existing automation framework or anything, even that can be leveraged. It's not like okay, you have to change everything what you're using, so you can use the existing one. Yes. Yeah, all, all all devices. I think around. I'm not very sure about the figures, but it's something around two uh, five thousand odd devices are supported, and then they uh, they're increasing every day. Okay, uh, so few few testing tools and frameworks which can be used for mobile as well as others. So Appium is what I use right now in the backend. And there's Cucumber, which is also a well-renowned uh, framework and a tool, device from. And Source Labs is, uh, is similar to device from, where they give us all the uh, devices. They maintain it for us. And we just need to make API calls and pay per minute. Uh, CI alternative, if you, be, if you want to consider only for uh, mobile, uh, Bitrise will be a one of the good solution because Bitrise, so what we did right now was we launched a container on our local and the local does everything. So Bitrise does similar things, but we don't need to worry about anything. They manage the containers for us as well. Uh, Bitrise has integration with Play Store. So if you do the proper configuration, you can build, test, and you can push it to Play Store as well. So Bitrise helps us in that way. Over here, uh, we have to do that. So that's the major difference. Uh, Bitrise is a very good solution for mobile CI. This is the links which I referred. Uh, happy and great thanks to the community uh, and device farm as well. Uh, it's a very good tool. Any Q&A? Either all of you are hungry or you are full. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write to me. I'll be happy to reply. And if my GitHub account, the demo doesn't work, you can write to me. <laughs> I'll fix it up.
QR code. Uh, please provide your feedback. Looking forward for it. Thank you.